you think a lot of parents would, you know, encourage their, their children's kind of high aspirations. Yes. But like you told your mom... You when I was a kid, before I wanted to be a comedian, my dream was to be the president of the United States. It's the only <laughs> real job I ever wanted. Okay? <laughs> Only time I wanted an office. I wanted to be the president of the United States. And I told my mother, and she's like, you better not. You'll get shot. <laughs> but talking of schools, there's, this, uh, there's a, a website called funnyexam.com. And what it is, it's, uh, these are genuine exam answers given by kids. And they're not stupid kids. They're just, they're we'll just the kids. They're, they're, I can imagine both of you doing these sorts of exam answers. These are genuine, okay. right? Okay. These are genuine. So, uh, so, for, so, this is a good example, right? So the exam says, find X. And the little guy goes, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what you... Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that would be my answer. Is that, to change centimeters into meters, you take out centi. <laughs> Kid. Can you prove he's wrong? <laughs> this, this one right now. Please note, if I made any mistakes in this test, perhaps this picture of a giraffe will convince you otherwise. <laughs> and look, and you got a plus one you for it. You got a plus one. Wow. Well, I don't think that's what going, teaches Hello. <laughs> I need a new writer. <laughs> I'm gonna hire that kid. Uh, oh, this, I really like this one. This is, on Kevin's ranch, he has a pheasant and rabbits. He has a total of 42 heads and 138 legs. How many rabbits and pheasants does he have on his ranch? He has two. This is a pheasant. I have 138 legs. <laughs> and then, he's so lazy, he won't even draw the rabbit. He goes, I'm a rabbit with 41 heads, but in a box. <laughs> Can't even be asked to draw a head. Uh, now, this next one, this kid, I'm not sure, I don't think this kid was trying to be funny. He just, a really unfortunate spelling mistake. <laughs> so, he's supposed to be doing a little, you know, one of those, uh, you know, there's the picture, write the essay. So, right, so he thinks he's talking about horses. <laughs> but he misspelled it as whores. Uh, I like whores. <laughs> whores of other whore friends. Whores like carrots. <laughs> you would think they could, but they can put their legs straight up. <laughs> whores make you feel good. <laughs> my dad wants a horse, but my mom says no. When, when I'm 16 or 20, I will buy my own horse. <laughs> that might be a joke. I might so. <laughs> But this one is genius, right? <laughs> so, you know that thing, uh, uh, kids uh, do a drawing of what your parents do, uh, right? Uh -oh. for uh -oh. So, this is, <laughs> this is the drawing this kid this sent in, right? Well. When I grow up, I want to be like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this gets... <laughs> This gets really good, right? So, you look at that and you think, I know what mommy does. <laughs> so the mother writes to the school, right? <laughs> mother writes to it. Dear Mrs. Jones, I wish to clarify that I'm not now, nor have ever been, an exotic dancer. <laughs> I work at Home Depot, and I told my daughter how hectic it was last week before the blizzard hit. I told her we sold out every single shovel we had, and then I found one more in the back room, and that several people were fighting over who would get it. The picture doesn't show me dancing around a pole. It's supposed to depict me selling the last snow shovel we had at Home Depot. Are you buying that for a second? I know. Please don't buy that for a second. Anyway, well done, kids. Very good.